Hello Islanders, welcome to Islands Plate. Today we are going to make this delicious pumpkin soup. So we're going to start with a pumpkin winter squash because it gives you the most meat. And right here I'm just taking out the seeds. After I took out the seeds, I decided to cut it directly in half. You can cut it into more sizable pieces if you would like, but you're going to put olive oil, salt and pepper on there, and you're going to bake it until it's very, very tender um, at 350 degrees um, with, in a water bath, so the steam will help soften up the pumpkin. So this is the tenderness that you're looking for. Um, depending on the thickness of your pumpkin, you're looking at between 30 minutes to an hour, maybe even three hours. But if you can peel off the skin like this, we're pretty much ready to get to blending. So I also went ahead and decided to bake some garlic, carrots, bell pepper, and some onions to give this soup a little bit more bite. If you add these vegetables, um, understand it's gonna have more of a herbal taste if you're okay with that. If you're not okay with that and you would like to really use this as a puree, because this can be a soup and a puree that you use for your other fall baking pastries, maybe you don't wanna add in these vegetables. So it's really up to you, but this is what I added. After you bake all of your vegetables, very tender, you're going to blend them up in a blender and I decided to use vegetable broth as my liquid to help blend this up because if you don't it'll make it a little hard for your blender to blend it up you can use water also so I didn't show it but I basically put all the vegetables together and I blended them up and I'm adding in all of the spices that I would like in there to obtain the flavor that I'm going for. And I put the ingredients and the directions in the description box below. Now from this point, I'm going to just keep adding in cream or my milk of choice or your milk of choice, whatever makes it comfortable for your home. And keep this puree or soup the consistency that you want. I hope you guys enjoy this recipe and I hope to see you guys again later. Goodbye.